lovely one. Good morning, good morning, and welcome along to episode 17 of the Sensitive Superstar series. And I'm so glad that you're watching because if you're watching this, the chances are you are a beautifully sensitive woman who is in a place of really starting to own her sensitivity as a superpower that it is knowing that it is a gift it is an absolute gift to be this sensitive heart-centered woman who has got so much love and compassion to give and in that place you will want to have the most intimate and the most loving and the most connected relationships and over the next few episodes from yesterday and over the next couple of episodes that I'm doing in this series, I am focusing on your personal relationships. So whether that is you, your personal relationship as it is at the moment and how you want it to be, or if you're calling one in, how you can call that in with a whole lot of grace and ease and joy. And this is a big topic, and this is a big topic for me. My personal relationship is one of the biggest learning grinds that I have ever experienced. It's where I learn the most, it's where I, I feel the most contrast, it's where I feel the most resistance. Um, and it certainly that was the case up until recently, but I have I have I have stumbled upon um I have stumbled upon this kind of recipe to having the most intimate and loving and supportive relationship and I really want to share it because it's not come overnight for me it's come through a lot of years of research into my um, into my personal development into the way that I show up um, and it's come from making a lot of mistakes but the start of this year I really I really decided that this year was going to be all about intimacy for me and um, I've talked quite a lot about this over in my group and if you're a member of my tribe, my online membership community, um, we're going to be talking loads about intimacy and connection over the next few months because the themes that we have coming up, we have relationships coming up in April, so a whole month dedicated to relationships. We're going to be looking also at intimacy itself um, and it's going to be really, really juicy. So we're going to be doing loads over this. So it's no real coincidence, I guess, that I have, I have been feeling like I want to share about this because it's really important as a as a sense of women you know our love and the way we want to show up in our relationships is paramount to us but here's where you've probably fallen into a trap that I definitely fell into which is what I was talking about yesterday where you blame all the externals, all the external reasons for you not having or being in the relationship that you really crave and desire. And that is totally normal. So um, if you have just, if you're just joining for today's episode, make sure you go back and watch yesterday's episode, um, which is about the one thing that's stopping you from having that, that relationship that you're, that you're really craving. Make sure you watch that because it will really, really support you. But today what I want to sh share about is my three top tips on, um, on, on having that relationship that you really want. The three things that you need to do to have and to call in, to have or to call in that, that, that level of intimacy and love and connection and all of that that you are longing for. So number one, you gotta cultivate what you're looking for in yourself first. So here's the thing, if you're saying, you know, I really wanna feel supported in my relationship, but you're not supporting yourself, then it's not gonna happen. If you say, I really wanna experience fun and joy in my relationship, but you're not having any fun and joy with yourself and in your own relationship with yourself, then it's not gonna happen. So it's absolutely, like vital that you whatever you're looking for in that in that personal relationship that you're either in already or you're calling in that you are that you're already experiencing that with yourself first because as I shared yesterday it's so so easy to focus on the outside and and it's normal and it we we all do it we focus on the outside you know this isn't happening this isn't the way I want it to be because of this and because of this and because of this but the moment we move into a place of ownership and understand and really feel and not just intellectually like know it like feel it in every cell of your body like I have to embody what I want first like I have to embody that before I can get it anywhere else 
And then the beauty is the law of the attraction states when you're then feeling that and that's being radiated out, you will get more of that coming back. And it's, and it's really so juicy and I can't wait to share some more of my stories about this. But, but certainly something that I would share right now is I spent, I spent a long time like wanting things to feel different. Um, but what I didn't realise was all of my behaviours and actions were calling in the same as what I was experiencing because I wasn't cultivating what I wanted in myself first. So that leads me on to number two, and I'm going to share a bit about this. So number two is looking after your own happiness. So here's the thing. For a long time, I've said, oh, you know, I really want to dance more and I want to um, and I want to go to like uh, these these conscious raves where you don't drink. and It's just all about dancing and experience. And I want to do um, more, more, um, more things that really get me into that place of like feeling free and like just really like juiced up and enjoying it. But I was waiting for my my partner to provide that for me. But here's the thing, here's something I had a bit of a kind of like aha moment of, which was like, that's my feminine. And this has come from like really learning about my feminine energy. And this is what we've been talking about this month in the tribe and in my membership community. Like fe your feminine energy is your responsibility. So that's all the things that light you up and make you feel alive and make you feel in flow and make you feel connected. But I was waiting, I was waiting for somebody else to to give that to me, like to, to bring that to me, but that's my own responsibility. So I would just ask you for this one, just look at like, are you actually looking after your own happiness? Are you taking responsibility for your own happiness? Because I got, I was on loads of different levels, I was doing this, but still for that little part of my relationship, I was expecting that to, to come from somewhere else, whereas it comes from you. So it's down to me to make sure that I do those things that are that are connecting me with my feminine because that's my responsibility. And then when I do that, and this is this is where the magic's been happening, where I do that, I then feel just like the most connection in my relationship and the most joy because I am bringing that femininity into my relationship and therefore that polarity between the feminine and the masculine is can, is is coming together now i am no by no means an expert on this at all i am scratching the surface and um, that's why i'm so excited about next month being all about relationships in the tribe because i'm learning loads about this and i love sharing about it but i know that i will be learning about this for life and that is so so exciting because we're always looking at taking things to the next level right when you've c called in or or consciously co-created the the relationship the feelings that you want to be feeling then there's something else there'll be something else that you can then allow that to flourish into and that's that is so so exciting so in a future episode i'm going to talk about the killer codependency so I can't wait because this again is part of the magic of what I've been learning recently and I want to share um, a lot more about this. But the number three, the number th three thing that I would recommend, this is only my recommendations, this is my recommendations as a sensitive superstar, as a woman who has been really working on owning her sensitivity as a superpower and knowing that, that part of my gift is to support you in living your most fulfilled life in your sensitive superpower. Um, but the number three, you know, the number three point for, for having a calling in um, that most intimate and loving relationship is have a sense of humor. This is this is really important because you know when we are empathetic women and we are like we're right really like how can I bring more of myself into my life and my my relationship and my community and how can I show up to help the world today and what what do I need to do and um you know how do I be there you know how do I be the best mom for my children? Quite often we lose our sense of humor. And it's easily done, and and I totally realise that I've done it. I've done it big. I I did it big time with my relationship. I was like in such control mode of like trying to make it like the best relationship, and really like 
putting so much on it, so much pressure on myself and on the relationship itself, I definitely have lost, I definitely had lost my sense of humour. And recently I've picked it back up again and it makes the world of difference because here's the thing, you probably feel really, you probably really feel things and you probably take everything on and you really take it to heart. But when you, when, but when you remember you have a sense of humour, it just allows you to lighten up and just to feel a bit more spacious and just to not take everything to heart. And I know that is like a really trite saying, but I've got that myself. Like when, when I give myself permission to, to remember that, that life is fun and things are funny and you can have that lightness and that banter um, in your relationship. It just allows so much space um, and it will be an absolute, I promise you, it will make the world a difference for your partner as well. It really will make his or her life way more easier. Okay, so um, I really hope you've enjoyed this. As I say, you know, I feel like, I feel like with everything that I'm that I've been experiencing um over the last six months and um, obviously it's not just six months it's been six years of work that have gone in before that and then you know all the work before that as well and um, but I really feel like I'm, I'm kind of uh, really in this place this really magic um this really magic place of recognizing how to have that intimate and, and, and loving and fun relationship that you're looking for. So those are three three techniques that I would suggest um, you start to, you know, either pick up or, or go deeper with in, in order to call in or be in that, re that, that, that relationship that you're looking for. Now, if you want to go deeper with this, there are loads of different ways that you can do that. Um, if you're not already part of my free Soul Confidence community, I'd suggest you get yourself in there um, because I'm going to be doing uh, an intimate live and, and answer um, questions and things that have been coming up about this. And also, if you want to go deeper and you're really ready, you are really ready to have like the most incredible intimate relationships and, and you really, you're really, you really want that for yourself, like you're committed to, to putting in the work to, to create that, then come on over and join as a monthly member of my tribe. Uh, next month is all about relationships and we've got an amazing guest expert that's going to come in and support us. So if you want, you want to go really in depth with this, then I would suggest you come on in and join um, as a member of the tribe. So I'll post the links below. Have an amazing day. If there are any sensitive superstars in your life who really, really need to hear this, then please share this video and let me know what resonates with you. Loads of love. Have a beautiful day. Bye.